And so it begins, boys. So it begins. So it begins. We are here in the Pacific coast of Colombia, going out of Bay Solano. A lot of you guys watching this say, hey, Chris, you already did this two months ago, right? I think it was two months ago. It was like a month and a half ago. I had like a five, six part video series, but this area was just so incredible. Scott and I had a lot of unfinished business, and now we are back in this time. Bought our buddy Lawson because he's the big saltwater guy. Scott and I were not. You're not the most experienced saltwater guy in the world, are you? No, not, not as experienced as Lawson. So the last trip and this trip also we booked through an exhibition called Fish Columbia. Ran by this guy over here who you guys will meet in a minute here. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit and explain exactly what we're going to be targeting and what we're going to get into this week. Hey guys, we're here in the Pacific Coast of Colombia. Uh, this time of year we're trying to find inshore species primarily, but uh, also a lot of uh, debris around, a lot of mahi. And uh, it's also a good month for black marlin, so we'll try to be chasing those species. So that gives us enough options. I know me and Scott both came empty-handed last time without getting a Kubera snapper. That's definitely the number one revenge. And also the rooster fish. If you guys watched those videos, you saw us lose a, a trophy rooster fish right at the boat. The hook popped out very last second, so we've got a lot of unfinished business to take care of. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh, I got that. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> that is amazing. Multiple. Whoa, dude. That is insane. They're huge, dude. They're like 20, 30 tons of these. They are massive. It's too, I have it's too big for the fly rod. Too big, too big for the fly rod. I'm so glad I got that on film because oh. I will have to rewatch that so much. I only got the rolls. Well, there's going to be plenty more throughout that's the, the first, week, I think. That, that's the first footage I've ever wanted to steal from you. Really? You know what's crazy, dude? Now, what you're looking at right now is some unbelievable humpback whale footage that Lawson let me borrow. He brought his drone and recorded this stuff. The Pacific coast of Columbia there was absolutely filled with these humpback whales when we were there. July to I think October, all the humpback whales, they swim all the way up there for their breeding grounds. We spent most of this half day fishing, chasing offshore species. Myself and Lawson both hooked a mahi-mahi and lost it. And then we trolled for Marlin for a couple hours and were unsuccessful. Now day two was far more action filled as we shifted our focus to the inshore species and I finally got my revenge. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Got him, got him, Kubi! Chris has it. Come here! Yes! Oh All right. All right. Dude, I was reeling it. I wasn't popping it. I got him. I think he's good. Get some line, get some line, get some line. Is it a Kubera? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Oh. Bring the rod up. Dude, these things are so strong. I can't believe it happened. Didn't take too long, man. No. We're about an hour and a half in. He's got the back trouble. It's a nice Kubera too, dude. Nice. Dude, we caught a Kubera. We're four for four we now. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I saw him waking I behind you here. big time. Yeah. 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 Got him, dude. Good job, Chris. We did it. I have no, like, that hasn't sunk in yet. We fished for four and a half days last time, all day long, and didn't catch one. And the bait I threw all last time. Hold on. What about what, 20? That one? Any more? We'll, we'll check. He's fat. Okay. Beautiful. The trophy, the Kubera snapper. Look at the teeth on this thing. The last time we were here, about a month and a half ago, I got to watch Tommy, the other guy that was with me and Scott last time, catch two of these. I'm gonna try my new camera. And the topwater bulbs just look so insane. And I finally got these guys. On a popper too, this is an incredible way to catch these fish. Usually, you cannot catch these fish popping. Usually, people spear fish them in Florida, right, Lawson? Yeah, they spear them and they catch them bottom fishing. <sighs> they get the scary thing about these guys is they get much, much bigger. 
Hopefully this is one of many Kuberas for the trip. My first one Chris, ever. you deserve it, man. If anyone deserves it, you deserve it right there. All right. There, there he goes. goes. I hope it's a giant needlefish. So live bait run off. Came back and grabbed it. I don't think it's a needlefish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that little. <laughs> I think it's a rooster, dude. I can tell it's. Remember those head shakes? So last time, we're pretty sure the big rooster fish we hooked came off. So I was horsing her a little bit. Would you agree, Scott? A little bit. A little bit. I see it. Is it a rooster? I think it's silver. Jack Crew of all. Jack it might be a jack. <laughs> it looked long and it was a rooster. Awesome. We got the rooster. Killer. Good size, eh? Yeah. Helps yeah. It, helps the mystery, it dude, the last one. That's the last one we had to knock off the list. So rooster fish unfortunately died quick. You gotta let him go. He's good. Look, look, look at him. Look. Yeah, that's yeah. sweet. That's the revenge we needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Dude, that was so cool. I knocked the two fish off today. Yeah, you've had a productive day. The charity worked. So how that fish came to be is that this whole day we've been dragging live goggle eyes behind the boat. These guys right in here. So while we're popping, it just gives you other opportunities to catch fish. Last one that took the bait, Scott took and uh, she was a beauty. Fish. That was a special fish. <laughs> a little wavy out here. Yeah. So last one was a needlefish and I just got lucky. I think it's just my day. I caught a Kuber and a rooster in one day, which that's incredible. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good job. Good job. Now our first full fishing day was an incredible start to the trip. I got to cross both bucket list fish off that evaded me our first time around. And our next day we headed out to pop all day again. And Scott got on the board big time just minutes into the morning. Fish? Oh, dude. That's a huge swirl. A lot of head fish. Oh, Scott. Get some line, get some line, dude. Get some line, it's a line. Get some Scott's line. on his first good fish so far. Get some line, dude. Just out in the middle here. Whaled on. A lot of drag screaming out, and he's locked down pretty hard. Talk to me, Scott. How are you feeling? I'm focused right now. <laughs> first really big fish in my trip out here. Real, 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 real. Get some line, get some line. He's going to run again. You don't know how shallow he is. This is a shallow spot. Yeah. Beto, what do you think? It's starting to come up. 40 feet of water. That fish got super down there. So it came up from 40 feet to hit this glide bait like an out footer turn on the surface. I think it has to be Kubera. I yeah, dude, I don't know what else it could be. That's <laughs> oh, I wanna see this fish so bad. Does it feel like a broom tail? It really does. <laughs> really staying focused right now, not trying to talk too much. <laughs> dude, that's how I was when I hooked mine. Kubera. Oh yeah, Kubera, dude. Big Kubera. <gasps> oh, Monster. dude. Big Kubera. <laughs> he's up on the drag. <laughs> Shaking right now, man. I got the single in there. Looks yeah. good. <laughs> Dude! Yes. Wow. First 10 minutes. You Absolutely. called that bait, Beto. Monster, Scott. Look at my hands right now, man. That was crazy. Holy crap.
That's the lodge right there. That's a fish I've been looking for for a couple of trips now. 48. <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. Uh, dude this, did you see the blow up? No, dude. Giant. Scott deserves it, dude. Giant. So that was the fish of a lifetime for Scott. Kuberas grow twice as large, but you usually don't land them over 50 pounds because they just become too powerful and they cut you off when they dive in the reefs. So that was an epic, insane fish. It made the whole day, but fortunately for us, this was not the only big Kubera landed on this day. I'm gonna go to Arvin just back down. Today. Back down a lot? Good fish, good fish. Oh. Oh. That thing ripped. Duro. Duro. Boss has got a good one now. That's Duro. Chris. What, camera? Yeah. What do we got going on here? Feels good, feels good. I'm running the lightest setup out of anybody on the boat, so I gotta kind of be careful with these fish. So we're using. The boat dragging away from the rock piles. It's just not here. Getting deeper right here. Gosh, this feels heavy. I don't know if it's any uh, Scott Rose Cubera, but <laughs> I'm thinking it's Cubera. I saw a big brown and red going again. Did you see, Scott, did you see it? I didn't see the take. Me and Lassa were just talking maybe a second before that how that, that bait is getting hit by every single fish we see today. The Western Glide. Oh, that was aggressive, eh? One stuck. What is that? Kubera. Kubera. Yeah. Kubera. Yeah. <laughs> Kubera. <laughs> Woo! Fire go. Oh, dude, not even. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What took an American to a GT, man? Yeah. <laughs> it's very similar, but their dive is so much stronger than a GT. It's stupid. Kubis. Kubis all the it's way. Right man. here. So strong. This one's a cool copper color, man. Oh, light. Switch it. Switch sides. Oh. Yeah, he's going that way. Just smoke the Weston. Yeah. yeah. 34, 35 pounds. Now Lawson's first big Kuber cemented that awesome day of fishing for us. We filled out the rest of the day with like small jacks, needlefish, stuff like that. But the following morning was probably the coolest fishing memory I've ever had. I was throwing a giant popper over a reef that topped out at 75 feet. It's a couple miles offshore, surrounded by like hundreds of feet of water. And then chaos ensued. Well, I got something big under me, dude. Kubi. Oh, Ooh. my God. Multiple. Got him. Oh, they're jacks, dude. What is going on? I have two. There's Kuberas and jacks. Throw, 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 throw. I have a jack as well. I oh, my God. It got off. Keep right him around, keep him around. There were so many. What the hell is going on? I had two Kubera, dude. Dude, the f Something f broke on mine. Dude, the jack came off. I had two different Kubera E. Jack, I saw your jack. I had a big Kubera E. Dude, these Kuberas are insane. I had two different ones eat there, dude. Yeah, I got. Oh. Hey, who would have guessed that I caught a Jack Kerbal and all that? I had the Jack too. It was. Dude, I had. On your bait, dude. I know, the Jack stole it. I had two fish hooked on mine and they both came off. Dude, that's a bummer, eh? This thing is a freaking tank. That's a. All right, guys, so that is the first half kind of recap video of our second trip to Colombia. Well, my second trip, Scott and I's second trip to Colombia. As you guys know, this is a much different video than the videos I typically do on this channel. I didn't really want to vlog the same type of videos because I already did a whole vlog series from Colombia and the routines were pretty much the same. But that last clip you guys just saw, I mean, I've rewatched it a thousand times and every time I watched the clip, I noticed something differently. What happened was there was a big school of Kuberas and Jacks right under my lure. A really big Kubera hit it twice. That was that like unmistakable sound of a Kubera hitting a topwater. Just woof. He missed it once, missed it twice, and then of course a Jack Creval steals it from him. And then Lawson hooked a Jack and there was fish just spreading everywhere. When we really slowed down the clip, I counted like at least 12 to 15 Kuberas, a bunch of Jacks. Scott also had, well, Scott hooked his Kubera and then he lost it two seconds later. I was him in the background yelling like, Kubi, Kubi, another Kubi. It was so chaotic. There was so much stuff going on and it was very fitting. I lost my fish and then broke an eyelid on my rod. Now, Beto pointed out to us that seeing those schools of Kuberas like that, just out hunting is pretty rare to see. These are reef fish that live very deep and the fact that myself, Lawson, and Scott could have easily tripled up on Kuberas right there. I mean, we did triple up. We just only hooked one Kubera and then lost my jack. Scott lost his Kubera, but... 
it's the more I watch it, the more thankful I was to have been filming during that because that was insane and a memory I'll always have from that trip. Now, as you guys noticed, this video was kind of a highlight reel of our first like three days, I believe. There was a lot more fish catches caught. I caught like a little yellow fin. Uh, we, like I said in the beginning, we missed those mahis. Lawson caught a bunch of jack crevals. There's a lot more fish caught, but Lawson was also filming. If you guys haven't seen his videos from this trip, definitely make sure to go watch this from his perspective. But there's a lot more fish caught. These are just kind of more of the highlights. The next video I upload will have the rest of the highlights from this trip, and there are much more big coubers to come. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm up in northern Minnesota right now on a family vacation, so that's kind of where I've been. This video took forever. It's because I, I lost some clips. I had to get some from Lawson, but you guys don't really care regardless. The video is finally here. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.